what's up YouTube? My name is Jenny Naimopola and I'm a content creator. I love to do topics related to faith and fashion and my life and just so much more. So I'm a full-time influencer and I wanted to vlog today for you guys kind of what it looks like to be an influencer, the day in the life of an influencer, the behind the scenes, content planning, strategizing, getting organized, all sorts of things like that. And so this will be a little vlog. I'll be showing you guys a little bit of my life, what I'm doing today, but overall just kind of showing you what does it look like to be a freaking YouTuber and an influencer. I've been doing this for 10 years and there has definitely been some ebbs and flows, but for 2022, I really just was like, I want to get focused again. I want to get organized and I really just want to make sure I am on track for my goals and what I want to do. And so I will be doing that today in today's vlog. So I hope you guys will subscribe. If you're new here, stick around for this vlog. And I'm excited to show you guys. Oh, my neighbor's about to walk by. I'm about to, ah, hold on. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Y'all, I get so nervous every time a neighbor walks by. I'm like, hello, I'm a YouTuber. Like they can see all my podcast equipment and camera stuff. And I'm like, but anyway, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna show you guys all of what I'm doing today. So actually I live in Dallas and currently it is snowing in Dallas, or it's not currently snowing, it did snow yesterday. There is just snow all over the ground. The roads are icy. Texans don't know how to drive in the snow. It's a disaster. So I'm gonna be staying inside in my sweat. And it is actually 11 a.m. and I have not eaten breakfast yet, so I'm gonna make some food and then show you guys kind of how I am strategizing for today. Okay, you guys, before I make some breakfast, I wanna show y'all the snow conditions. Now, maybe if you live in a northern state, this is like absolutely nothing for you, but for us Texans, this is a lot. So, step one, we gotta put the snow boots on. I act like it's literally like Antarctica out there, but it's really not. <laughs> oh, I'm putting on my Fabletics puffer. Okay, let's go. Straight up ice. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> Full on almost wiped out and my neighbor saw me. <laughs> All right, I'm in my kitchen. I'm trying to decide what I want to eat. So let's see what we have. Hmm. So, um, accidentally burnt my toast, but you know, here we are. Still gonna eat it. <laughs> Here's today's breakfast. This is normally more than I eat, but I'm here for it. This is a balanced breakfast. <laughs> Does anyone else eat uh, ketchup on their eggs or is that just me? Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'll show you guys more of my day. Okay guys, welcome to my desk. I swapped over to my more professional camera so you guys can see better and it's just better quality. So I'm in my office right now. This is where the magic happens. A lot of my planning, content strategy, meetings, pretty much everything happens at this desk. Now this room that I'm in right now is a multi-purpose room. I guess I'll show y'all. I'll just twist my camera. Right here I have my podcast equipment in this table. So I am looking for kind of like a studio for my podcast, but as of right now, what I do is I kind of just break down this table, put it in the corner, put my podcast equipment away. But I filmed a podcast yesterday. And so if you guys don't know, I have a podcast called Happy and Healthy. I post every Tuesday if you guys want to check it out. And so I have it planned out to where like my days are for certain things. So that's actually one of my goals today. So one of my goals today is actually to plan my weekly schedule for kind of like the year. And this is something I never really did before, which is honestly an issue. And I, like I said this year, I'm really trying to get more organized. So something that I really like to do is I love to write things down. That personally helps me remember better, but I also like to use my interfaces on here as well, which I will also show you. But one of my favorite things to do is just go through the day, go through what is it that I need to do. So for today, I'm vlogging. I wrote down I need a vlog, so I'm doing that today. Plan out my weekly schedule, upload my Amazon video. So I have another video I need to kind of go through and edit and review that my editor sent back to me. And so there's like a bunch of random things. Edit some IG reels. So I filmed some IG reels yesterday. I need to edit those. And so I kind of go through that and then I have a call at 4 p.m. with a mentor. So that's kind of what the day can look like. It's just a bunch of random things. So I'll kind of give you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes of using the interfaces without, you know, obviously disclosing too much of my information. But that's kind of what I like to do is I like to write down everything and then kind of just go knock it out and get it done. So what I think I'm first gonna do is plan out my weekly schedule. So I know I have a set routine of when I'm uploading, when I'm filming podcasts, when I'm doing brand deals, et cetera, et cetera. So let's do that. Also a random side note, 
If you're wondering why my eyebrows look greasy or like super dark like I drew Sharpie in them, it's because I got them microbladed two days ago and so they're quite dark right now and I have to put like product on them so that they heal quickly. So that's why I look like I have greaseball eyebrows. Okay, my camera might have a hard time focusing on this. So what I like to use is this new interface I started learning when I took a social media break. It's called ClickUp. So if you have a ton of employees, if you're trying to be a content creator, if you're trying to keep all your team on track or even just all your content on track, I really recommend this. Um, I go through here and I have a ton of different like things I'm doing. And so I go through here and I, and I always know what I'm about to do. So I have a board for my podcast that my assistant, she goes through, let me show y'all. I have a board for my assistant. I have a board for my YouTube content. So I know what to post and what I'm gonna film. I have a board for IG content of like IG reels and pictures I always have ideas flowing in there of those things. So that really helps me keep me organized because I think what I used to do is I used to just have like a list running on my Google Notes or like my iPhone Notes of content that I wanted to create and it was never organized and it was never in a set space. So if you are a content creator or an influencer or whatever and you're wanting to find another way to get more organized, I learned ClickUp, it's amazing, it's not sponsored. I um, just definitely recommend this. And this is a great way to kind of stay Organized. So, so if I'm ever going to be making a list or an idea or something that I want to keep modifying, I always use Google Docs because when you have an assistant or a team, you can just give them the login and they can make edits and suggestions and they can see what you're doing. And so I am about to make my weekly schedule, but I want, when I have my assistant, I want her to be able to kind of know as well, okay, what is Janine working on and what is the routine of the week? You kind of want some consistency and some clarity. And so that's kind of my goal right now is to work on that. Something too that I think is important is that I need to look at my calendar and maybe you do it as well. You need to look at your calendar of what are you doing every single day? How does that day need to be modified for what your needs are that day specifically? And what does the team need? What, what do you need to realistically make that happen? And so what I like to do is I will go through my Google Calendar, which has, you know, often a lot of stuff going on and I will go through each day and be like, okay, what makes most sense? for a weekly schedule to be consistent. Now there has to be ebbs and flows because for example, I have a podcast and I bring on guests all the time and sometimes my filming day for my podcast is a Thursday and they cannot do a Thursday. So I have to be a little bit flexible on saying, okay, maybe I can film on a Tuesday. But for me, I wanna make sure that Mondays are meeting days with my team and making sure we're on track and hitting goals and doing all the things. So that'll be kind of what I wanna do on a Monday. So we're gonna work on that first. Okay, I moved you guys to the desk so you can see me now. So I'm screen recording and now what I'm gonna do is go to my ClickUp and I'm going to create my now weekly to-do list. So um, Monday to-do. So maybe I, what you can also do is like have a specific color for each day. So based off of my list here, you know, I think it'd be good to have a certain color for for each day. And so I might put these side by side and kind of just see really fast. Red is going to be Tuesday because that's a filming day and I associate red with YouTube. Um, Wednesday will be purple. So that will be, because I'm filming Instagram content, Wednesday. Anyone else else have to do that where you have to say Wednesday in order to remember? Thursday, I'm gonna make blue because that's my podcast day. So um, I make that, that podcast color is blue and yellow. And then Friday, let's see, I don't know. Friday I can make, Friday can be pink because I don't know. <laughs> and again, you can change these. So, um, okay, so I'm gonna hit next now. J Weekly To Do, um, Avatar, which I will do probably this calendar avatar to kind of show that it's a weekly to do and i will make the color of this uh, maybe this blue for now so yep now here i have my weekly to do so i'm just going to go ahead and do write everything down that i wrote in the google doc okay and then same thing you guys get the point i'm just going to copy and paste everything and do the same thing and i will show you guys what i've done what that looks like OK, 
Okay, I have finished. So again, this is a tentative thing. These could shift around, but for now, I wanted just to get an overview so that I know next week. This is what I'm doing when I hire someone. This is what they know I'm doing as well. Editors know the schedule. Everyone's on the same team. And so this is something new for me, but I'm really excited to try this out. And so that's kind of what the, the weekly planning looks like. So the next thing on my list today is reviewing footage from my editor. So my editor sent over my previous videos. So now I'm gonna work on making the thumbnail, reviewing the video, making any edits that I need to make and getting it ready for Monday's weekly upload. So now again, I know I'm uploading on Mondays and I'm gonna make sure that video is ready to rumble before the weekend so that I don't have to worry about it and it'll just go right to uploading on a Monday. That's what we're gonna do next. All right, hello you guys. It is now later and you can see that I changed and I have a different outfit on. So it is now 2.20. I was sitting at my desk being extremely unproductive. I wasn't getting anything done. So I thought I would get out of my sweats, put on like a little bit more of an outfit. I'm gonna actually go and edit my video in the other room. This is something I do a lot. I find that if I continue to just sit here, I don't get anything done. Uh, I feel like my brain just starts getting associated with like laziness the more I sit there. I don't know how else to explain it. So sometimes moving to a new environment helps me out a ton. So I'm going to edit my YouTube video in the living room and try to knock that out and knock out other things. A change of scenery is personally really helpful for me and also changing an outfit. So that's what I did. So now we're gonna go edit my video in the living room. You cannot forget the energy drink. It's probably an issue, but I love them. I normally drink Celsius, I'm out of Celsius. I'm using this one called Infinite Energy. Pretty good. The first item is this circle base. Now I've seen this kind of trending. I've seen a lot of people get It is now, it's been like 45 minutes later. Um, and I am now making some lunch. I haven't eaten yet. And in order for me to obviously think straight, you need to be fueled. So for today's lunch, I, I never eat sandwiches really. And I recently just bought all the ingredients again. And growing up with my family, I was wondering what that noise was. Growing, growing up with my family, we would literally eat sandwiches every single day. And maybe you find it weird, but we put cream cheese on our sandwiches. I find that not a lot of people do that. They think it's kind of strange. I'm not really sure why. Let me know if that's something you guys do, but I'm just gonna make some quick lunch and get right back to work because I noticed that in between basically like 10 to kind of like four is when I'm the most productive. I mean, definitely even like earlier than that is when I'm most productive, but if I don't maximize that, then I'm not gonna get my ish done. So I'm trying to kind of make sure I stay within that window so that I'm not getting like all tired and lazy and unmotivated. So let's get back to work. And just like that, we have our lunch. Try it out. Don't forget to add the lemon pepper, the best part. Uh, all right, you guys, it is 4.08. My brain is slowly dwindling. I wanted to do one more thing. I really wanted to edit um, some IG reels, but I have still been working on my Amazon favorites video that's going up on Monday. I really wanna make sure it's ready to go before the weekend. So the IG reels can probably wait or I'll just work a little bit later, which I don't like to do. I really want to be, that's something about this job too, is that you can constantly be working and working and working. There's no cap, there's no limit. So you really have to set boundaries for yourself because if you don't, you're gonna be literally a slave to it and you don't want that. Um, so I will probably work just till five because it's probably gonna take me that long to make my thumbnail anyway. I'm now trying to hire someone, like I have an editor, but she never did my thumbnails, but I'm trying to hire someone to do the editing and thumbnails. That way I can save some time and just create it and then pass it off and then work on other things. And so that's kind of my goal, which I do have an editor, but I'm getting a new one because my current editor, I love her to death so much, but she's going to dental school. So I'm really sad I'm losing her. So for now, I'm just doing most things by myself, which is much more time consuming, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm just gonna keep working and probably gonna go on a walk at five because I have been sitting majority of today. I didn't get to go work out this morning. So I'm probably gonna go on a walk and call someone.
Okay, so it is currently 5.07 and I am getting links for my videos for all the products that I featured, which no one tells you takes such a long time because you want to make sure that it's organized in your description box. You want to make sure it's in order. You want to make sure people know where to find it. And so that is currently what I'm working on right now is getting all the links for the video and then I'm going to log off and go on a walk and be done. <laughs> Almost done with the day. All right, you guys, it is officially 5.16. I am logging off, I am done for the day. I'm about to go for a walk and that is kind of a day in my life influencer edition, I guess you could say. Um, obviously there's so much other nuance, so much other things that go on, but, but this is just an example on one of those types of days on what kind of goes on behind the scenes and all the things that you know I work on or do. And I hope this was helpful. Maybe you're trying to become a YouTuber or a creator yourself, or maybe you just like kind of being nosy and wanting to know, I know I do. Uh, you can check out my Instagram, which is Janina Mopola. The link is down below. Um, I share faith, fashion, and my daily life on there, lots of lifestyle stuff. And I also post on my podcast, Happy and Healthy, every single Tuesday. And so you guys can check those out down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you are new here and if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe and I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. I'm about to go on my walk. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye guys. <laughs>